How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to do a fitness demonstration. Deadlifting is one of the best ways to pack on muscle. But that being said, there are many different ways that you can seriously injure yourself if your form is weak, which I could spend hours talking about. In this year's Halloween special, I am going to explain the three spookiest deadlifting faults and how to fix them from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. The first major mistake is shooting the tail. The hips elevate and extend, but the shoulders do not follow suit. Your shoulders should always follow the same path as your hips, especially during the initial part of the lift. This form error has numerous causes, but it's most likely that you're starting the lift with the bar too close to your body, or you're not hinging with the hips properly. To fix this, focus on really engaging the lower and mid back while keeping your chest tall at the beginning of the lift. Hold this tension and then push with your heels and drive your hips forward. If you're still struggling to grasp this concept after a while, try incorporating pause reps into your routine. These will help improve your coordination and strength during what is probably the weakest part of your deadlift. The second major mistake is rounding the upper back. Now you may often see pros with a mild upper back curve during their big lifts, but this is because most of them are lifting over four times their body weight. And the main goal is just to get the weight up by any means necessary, even if it means poor posture and significantly increasing the odds of thoracic or cervical disc herniation down the road. If all you're looking for is gains without the risk, you need to keep that upper thoracic spine straight. To do this, focus on squeezing your shoulders together during the repetition. Pretend you've got a winning lottery ticket between your shoulder blades and you need to hang on to it from start to finish. Doing this in combination with a high chest should do the trick, but if you're still struggling, try propping up the barbell with boxes or on the squat rack and work on the upper half of the deadlift only. Adding in some arch body holds to your routine will also help build upper thoracic strength, which is very important for this lift. The third and final mistake comes from the eccentric part of the deadlift, where as soon as the barbell is up, engagement is completely lost and the bar comes crashing down. Not only will this disturb everyone around you, but losing engagement during the down phase of the lift creates a very fast and heavy load on the spine. This could very very easily lead to a pulled muscle or even worse, a slipped disc. Time under tension is extremely important not only for safety concerns, but to get stronger long term. So if you have a habit of doing this regularly, take some weight off and focus on bringing the barbell down correctly. Remember, the rep is over when the bar is on the ground, not when it's still in the air. What do you think of my choices? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.